signed my first NHL contract, came more of a job, I guess. Drew Doughty? Yeah. Give me a funny story about him. Oh, man. I did the day I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. So I loaded a coffee this morning and not the day that you're thinking about. Former NHL goaltender Jonas Enroth had an NHL career, banged out a couple years in the National Hockey League, and now he's playing overseas here in the Swedish Elite League. I'm excited to talk with the guy. Apologies to Jonas because I missed my bus and I'm running about a half hour late here, so. So this is the camera, eh? Are you a friend of the show? Oh yeah. You're a friend yeah, of the show? I've been, uh... I've been following you for like five, six years, I think. He played in the show, iced me a couple years in Winnipeg. Not like I've forgotten about that. And uh, he's gonna get some NHL goaltending advice. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the program, friend of the show, Jonas Enroth. I iced you a couple years ago? Hey, I wanted to grab your number sometime. You're like, nah, nah, see you later. Then he just iced me and walked out. I forgot about that, but we're not gonna talk about that. Tough start. Down yeah. too early in the first. Yeah, yeah. When I signed my first NHL contract, it became more of a job, I guess. Your compete level has to be really high to make it to the pros, obviously. Patience was probably my best attribute. Playing behind the King system made it pretty pretty easy to be a goalie there, I think. Obviously, I'd, I don't want to take anything away from Quick, but they had a good system when I was there, and uh, I think we were one of the better teams uh, that year. Like, I knew where the shot we were going to come from. I knew the Ds were going to take away far side and all that stuff, and I just had to focus on making the, the first save pretty much. Simplifying it down to one or two options versus five. Yeah. What, what's the biggest takeaway you'd get from, from Quickie? on the ice and off the ice. He uh, doesn't think too much, just goes out and saves the puck and I think that's something I learned from him that he didn't really put too much thoughts on what happened or if he gave up a bad goal or anything like that. He just went out and was going to save the next puck no matter what and uh, I think he kept his mental game very simple. He didn't overthink stuff or anything like that. Yeah, Dewey on the back line though, right? Yeah. 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 What was yeah. he like? Probably the best player I ever played with. Drew Doughty? Yeah. Give me a funny story about him. What's something funny you can share, uh, PG-13? Oh, man. You got anything else you want to say? Any final concluding remarks? Uh, I'm happy you're here in Sweden. I hope you have a, hope you have a good time here. We're going to get on the ice sometime, Doug. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that would be cool. We're going to run some ice. We can get the ice any, any time in Flemingsburg. You should come down. We should definitely try to set something up. You should bring your goalie coach. Your goalie coach is probably better than my goalie coach here. No offense to Mike. Yeah, I actually have a really good goalie coach here, uh, but who's your goalie coach here? His name's Mike. I don't think he has a last name. I think there's something to be said about talking to guys who have played hockey at a high level and specifically played in the NHL. You know, guys like Jonas Enroth, they played the game, they get the game. So being able to pick his brain on things that went on when he was with the King, things that went on when he was coming up to the minors, you know, making his way into Buffalo and obviously towards the end of his career. To Jonas and anybody else that I've talked to along these lines, I can't say thank you enough. That's information that I will 100% be taking and try to implement into my game into my approach moving forward. Another great thing that we did, well, we didn't really talk about it, but he pulled it out of a suitcase. He's got a 580 Bauer glove in his uh, suitcase. Oh, uh, sorry, it's not a 580. Oh. Well, I got a 580 at the ring, but I switched for this one. So I think I'm gonna switch to this one. 90 degrees angle on it, but. How do you like your uh, Lefebvre? Bauer ultrasonic glove, that vapor glove that Jonas had dressed up as an ultrasonic. With the whole Lefebvre True merger, they don't want me to be affiliated with Lefebvre and True. True and Lefebvre don't want me to be affiliated with them. So with that being said, yours truly is a free agent. Custom Bauer setup with the digiprint graphic, like a white base retro look, or maybe like a throwback to a 1100 with a 580 Bauer glove. That would be nasty. Hopefully get on the ice sometime soon in Sweden with Jonas. I mean, it's gonna be awesome to be able to skate with the true NHL goaltender and learn from him. I can't wait.
All right, people, listen up and listen. Well, this is the Ridge Wallet. I've been using this thing for a couple months now. I love it. It's portable, it's snappy, it looks good, it fits all your cards in there, and it's got a little spot for your cash. The folks at Ridge Wallets are one of my favorite companies to work with because they got my goddamn last name on the freaking wallet. Yes, it's coincidental, but it works nicely. And if you use the promo code TRAVSUCKS, you get yourself 10% off on your Ridge Wallets orders. You can get a wallet, a phone case to hold all your cards, a backpack, a charging bank, you name it. The folks at Ridge got some great products. Promo code TRAVSUCKS will save you 10% off. And thanks again to the folks at Ridge for cutting me a nice big check to sponsor today's video. Much appreciated as always. Back to the video that you came here to watch. I'll make you a deal. I think you can't refuse. You get the kitchen looking tip top, spick and span. I will come home with a grocery list full of everything to make the best chili you've had in your life and we sh** for days. I don't eat meat. Vegetarian chili. I'm really a big chili fan. Now enough of this negative Nancy attitude. Do we have a deal? I'll think about it. F*** off and just accept the deal. I don't really like chili that much. Will you try it? I don't really like it. Okay, so we have a deal. Think about it. What, what more do you want in this chili? What if I made Chili hot dogs, chili dog. Hot dogs are not real meat. Yes, they are. They're the furthest thing from meat. The straps, that's I'll think about it. Oh my god. I like it. Good video. Yeah. Oh. Welcome to a behind the scenes where Sweens approves his video so I don't get sued. Okay, you won't believe this. I recently got put into a uh, group chat of a bunch of quote unquote celebrity famous people on Instagram recently. There's like a bunch of like really like hot like female influencers in there. I totally don't fit in the group. This one girl posts her new TikTok in this group and is like, new TikTok, everybody like comment, return the favor because I have like nothing to do with my life. I comment in the group chat. Anybody want to make an appearance in the vlog sometime? Creative ideas are welcome. This one girl replies, what vlog? And then I reply, I'm kind of a big deal on YouTube. How cool. I'm up for it. I'm really small on YouTube. I'm just getting it started. I opened my channel a month ago, smiley face. That's what I think of that. <laughs> Why am I in this? I don't f I didn't consent to Why anything. did we come here? <laughs>